So Bella Rubia, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I should have been did this video, but it's whatever. I'm going to be doing 10 things that a lot of people don't know about me or 10 facts that people don't know about me. So uh take a seat, grab a little snack, a drink something if you want to drink something, I don't know. But yeah, so let's just get right into it, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I will be more consistent on posting on YouTube. I know I've been really consistent on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow that. Go follow that. Um, but yes, I will be more consistent on YouTube. So I'm going to be trying to double upload like twice a week. So today and tomorrow. So I'm going to be back on schedule and I will be posting more shorts. I know y'all love my shorts. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So the first fact, okay, the first fact that people don't know about me is that I am Dominican. As you can see, this flag right here. And it is our Independence Day. So, happy Independence Day to all my fellow Dominicans, okay? Yes, I am Dominican. And yes, I am mixed, okay? So, I just want to put this in the air. A lot of people confuse ethnicity, nationality, and race a lot, which shouldn't be that confusing. So, sit down because I'm about to take you out of school, okay? So, nationality nationality is basically the place you were born so my nationality is american because i was born in america okay but my ethnicity which is my cultural background is dominican okay yes i said i am mixed so that means i am 25 percent at well sorry 25 percent european okay the European side comes from my father. And a lot of people see my dad. Well, not really. But, like, the people close to me have seen my dad. And he is a black man, okay? I have a black father. And I have a light-skinned mother. My mother is not really light-skinned like me. She's a bit tan and stuff like that. But, yeah. So, yes. They are white-skinned Dominicans just like me. Okay? So, yeah. I am black. So, um, that's the number one fact, and I'm gonna get, and that's the only time I will ever be saying it, okay? Because uh, people, tuh, there's one girl in the comment, I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna say too much, but girl, if you're watching this, I am black, okay? I'm black. Don't do that. Um, the second fact about me is that a lot of people think that I'm younger than my age, like, really, really young. I'm not. I'm about to be 21 in September, you know, big 21, 21, okay, kids, you know, I'm about to be 21, but without me telling my age and people just talk to me, like, on the regular, people think that I'm older because of the way I carry myself or, um, uh, like, the conversations that we have and stuff, so it's no in between. People think that I'm either really, really young or just older than my age. So, just to clarify, I am 20 years old. I'm going to turn 21 this year, okay? A lot of people in the comments of my videos say that I look 12, I look 8, I look... Okay, I might look a lot of things, but baby, I'm not nowhere near 12 or nowhere near 8. And if you think like that, you need to be in jail. Because that's nasty. Um. Okay, the third fact about me is a lot of people... Um. When they see me on social media, they don't think that I'm as short. I'm very short. <laughs> I'm very short. I'm very small. I am 4'11". Yeah. 4'11". I am 4'11", and I am proud because I am fun size, and I'm fun to be around. So don't do that. But yes, I'm very short. I get that from my mom. I'm very short. And I just have to accept that. I thought I would grow to be like a little bit more taller, like 5'2 would have been fine. But hey, if God wanted to make me short and sexy, hmm, he already had that plan out. Feel me? But yes, 
four eleven. I'm very short, and I do kind of like the illusion of me being like tall on social media because it's like you know it makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> okay. Um, the that was third. The fourth fact about me is I. This is my real hair. <laughs> this is my real hair. Okay. Like there's. This is all real. This is my hair, okay? This is not no rig. This is not no nothing. Mad people. And I mean a lot of people think that my hair is fake or like a wig or something. And include in talking about my hair, a lot of people don't think that this is my hair color. This is naturally my hair color. Okay, this right here. Okay. Let me, let me explain. This right here, okay, where my roots is, that is my natural hair color, right? But the color I have now was originally my hair color. But over time, when I started like growing up, my hair just turned very dark and I didn't like that. And I really love my blonde hair because, yes, I am naturally blonde, okay? I have naturally blonde, kinky, curly hair, okay? Like, this is all me, okay? Um, and I'll put, like, a baby picture up of me, like, because my hair was really, really light. Like, I don't know why it turned dark all of a sudden, because I was really fucking with the blonde. Like, blonde will always be my color. I'm sorry. If you've been watching me for a minute now, you guys know I went ginger. Love the ginger, but I had to come back to my roots. Like, just blonde is just my color. Like, come on now. Um, but, yeah. So, this is naturally my color, okay? I just dye it like this so I could, like, you know, be in touch with my roots. But this is my natural hair color. I just don't like it because it's not really blonde anymore. It's, like, a very dark, dark, like, it's, like, a the dirtiest blonde to brown, and I don't like it at all. So I just dye it this color. But, yes, originally, this is my natural hair. <sighs> to get that out the way, because a lot of people... A lot of people have a lot of assumptions about me. Okay. So, um, a lot of people... Let me see. That was four. Five. Number five is that... Um, one fact about me. Oh, one fact about me is... That... Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> one fact about me. Okay. Um, a lot of people think that, like, um, I'm Puerto Rican. Like I said in the beginning, I am Dominican, and I am proud to be Dominican. Don't, no disrespect to not my Puerto Ricans, okay? It's just that, soy Dominicana, and that's not gonna change, like, not gonna change. Okay. Another fact about me is that I'm really into film. I love movies. I love TV shows. I love all of that. That's um that's gonna be my career in the long run. So if y'all see me in any shows or any commercials, just go. Your, just know your girl made it. Um, another fact about me is I love to cook. I love to cook. Love, 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 love to cook. Okay, love to cook. I like to cook for other people. I like to cook for myself. That was all of y'all. That was y'all trying to make it seem like I'm not Dominican. I'm very much Dominican. Don't do that. But yeah, I love to cook. I like to cook for other people. I like to cook Spanish food. I love cooking Spanish food. Um, I like to cook other food, like Italian food, American food, you know, obviously. I'm trying to get more into, like, um, like Asian food and, like, Asian fusion. Like, Dominican sushi, literally the best fusion ever created. Like, come on up. Who thought about that? Who? Like, go on now. So, yeah. Then, um, another fact about me is that I am... A lot of people um, tend to think that, like, I'm... How can I say, like, very... Like, closed off, in a way. I can be, at first. But I'm low-key very outgoing. Like, it depends. Like, at first... I could be very shy only because I need to read the energy around me. Like, I'm a firm believer that, like, 
I'm just, I can really read energy and I can read the room. So it's like if I feel anything weird or anything is just off, I would just become like closed off. Uh, I would literally turn into the biggest recluse ever. Like I don't fuck with none of that. Like if anything weird or any ne negative pops off, I'm out of there. So I'm really big on energy and big on like body language. So if I feel, you know, comfortable, if I feel safe, then you know, my walls will drop down a little bit. I tend to, you know, scope out the scene and stuff. And, you know, eventually I will become very open and very outgoing. Because with my friends, I'm the most outgoing person ever. Like, you know, because I'm comfortable with them. But if it's just somewhere that I've never been before or people I haven't been around, I just like to read the room and like scoped out any weird body language because i'm really big on that and i'm very i'm a very cautious person you know i like to take caution with everything um another big fact about me is um this is for all my like zodiac people but yes i am a virgo i am a virgo birthday is september 3rd don't forget september 3rd is my birthday um i'm not really a big you know Per, like thing with those zodiacs you know i just the first okay i like to talk about it because number one it's very funny seeing people's reactions they be like oh we got a zodiac we uh you know i just think it's hilarious and also i think it's a great like icebreaker and like a conversation started because it's like now everybody's into like the zodiac things and what i'm gonna start doing is to really freak people out i'm gonna start telling people that like i have like a certification and like zodiac and like a, and like the zodiac so that should be hilarious and if any of y'all still that idea just know it came from big mama okay um let me see i forgot what factor we are but i'm just gonna keep going with it we got two more um let me see another good fact about me is oh 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 another fact about me is that um I am very, very, um, hmm. I wouldn't say I wouldn't follow trends. I'm inspired by trends, but I really do admire the fact that, like, I could take something and kind of make it, like, my own. Like, you know, obviously there's a lot of trends going on. There's a lot of, like, you know, different things, a lot of different ideas just being flown into social media you know but i like that like i could take the idea or take like some inspiration from it convert it into my liking like you know and then make it mine because a lot of people and i feel like this is um the problem nowadays in social media a lot of people lack creativity and um authenticity i think i'm saying it right Auth authenticity yeah authentically authenticity so you know the word you know people lack that um that natural thing about themselves and nothing i feel like nowadays nothing is like original everybody's just copying from one another so one fact about me is that i really could like take something or take an idea of something convert it to my liking and make it my own so i'm not really like copying anybody you know um last one. Oh, another big fact about okay no we have like two more <laughs> another big fact about me is i actually like to write i like to write like i have i think i have like four journals five like five four journals whatever and it's for different purposes like i have one for content i have my planner that i write in i have this one that my best friend gave me story of my life because she know like my, she just knows like i just really like to write i have my personal journal um and yeah and i have my creative journal like i can like draw and i like write little letters to myself like i just like to write like i really like to express myself and if anything i just have an idea of something boom like i, I like i have to write it down like you never know I, in the long run it can be used for something and uh, I like to read too. I've been slacking a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I've been slacking. But um, I have been doing good with reading, even though I've been slacking a little bit. But overall, I do like to read. 
um i'm very much into podcasts as well if you don't know i have my own podcast episode five is coming out just wait on it i'm trying to get more people um on my platform i'm trying to do all collabs this year yeah i told you i'm working you know i've been working on my instagram but i am gonna get back to youtube it's just a little hectic but we can hustle through that and the last fact is that i have so many damn plushies oh my god bro i don't let me see i'm trying to count them from right here one two three four five I'm pretty sure I think I have like 11 or 12 plus sheets on my bed. Yeah. And I used to have way more when I was younger. I always been a plushie lover. Like, listen, ever since I was born, I always collected them. Like, I have a lot. And the oldest one that I have is my child. Like, that's really my child. His name is Piggy. He's just, that's just my world. That's my whole entire world. I had him since I was three years old. You hear that? Three years old. Like, we, we're really, like, locked in for real. But that's literally the love of my life, so. We just locked in, and he cannot escape, if, even if he wanted to. But those are the facts about me, and those are a little things that you guys get to know about me a little bit. This should have been my first YouTube video, but, you know, whatever. It's a time and a place for everything. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will be posting tomorrow. Yes, I will be posting tomorrow, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We we already hit 500. And we're going to hit that 600 too, okay? Um, And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.